Our passage today is John chapter 15, verse 18, through to chapter 16, verse 4. And the church remembers Lawrence, deacon and martyr. Lawrence was one of the earliest martyrs of the church. He was a deacon at Rome in the third century, and he died on this day in the year 258. There is a gruesome story about his martyrdom, so look away now, as it were, if you don't want to hear it. He's supposed to have been roasted on a gridiron, but actually it's more probable that he was beheaded. Much better to focus on the story of what he did in his life. As deacon, Lawrence's ministry was one of service to the poor and the vulnerable. There were seven deacons at Rome and their job was to distribute food to the poor on behalf of the church. Just as Acts describes when Stephen and the first generation of deacons were appointed. The Roman Emperor Valerian persecuted the Christian church and he instructed Lawrence to bring out the treasures of the church to give the church's money to the emperor. I don't know how much money the church had at that time, but Lawrence responded by gathering up all the poor of the city, those he was regularly supporting with arms, and presented them all to the emperor. Here are the treasures of the church, he said. Valerian, seeing a crowd of the least presentable of his subjects gather before him, didn't see it the same way and condemned Lawrence to death. This story made Lawrence a very popular martyr and he became one of the foremost saints of his time. The Emperor Constantine, who was the first emperor to convert to the Christian faith, built a chapel over his tomb and Lawrence became patron saint of deacons. We can perhaps get inside this story a little bit by placing it in our own times. Think of today's food banks as the deacon's daily distribution of food. Imagine we could gather together all the families who are depending on food bank support to get through the week or the month, especially when the school is out and there are no free school meals available. The demand for food bank support rises enormously in school holidays and that, apart from anything else, really shocks me. That it must be so difficult to admit that one needs support for daily necessities, even to feed the children. But such is the need that people do come forward for that, and thank goodness that they do. The treasures of the church, the treasures of our society, since food banks are supported by so many people of goodwill in our society. Perhaps those families, those people who do depend on food bank support, Perhaps they might feel better about themselves if we could tell them that they are treasures, that they are treasured.